Good day. This is David Weiss, and I work for New Visions for Public Schools, and I will be giving you a demo of how to use our Quiz Banker tool. In particular, I'm going to focus on selecting questions to include in your quizzes. There are a number of ways of doing this. The most important is that whatever questions you want to include must have a word yes beside them. Each row of this spreadsheet is one question. One way to filter the questions is by exam. So if we click on the word, uh, if we click beside the word exam where there's a little triangle, you can see there's a list of exams here. You can maybe clear that list and choose one of the exams. And now the only questions that will be visible in this spreadsheet are all from the same exam. If I wanted to select all of these questions, I could select the yes here and drag it down to the bottom of the list. You'll notice that each one of them changes. And it takes a bit of time, but it's a lot faster than typing. Now I click on Create Quiz, and I'll have to wait. You notice that it shifts the spreadsheet to show you the tab where your quiz is being created. And if you look in this cell here, you'll see that it's telling me what stage it's at when writing the quiz. So that helps you figure out where you're going. Right now we're at 9 out of 37. Great. And now it's done. Now I can click here on Quiz, and I can view the document itself. And I now have all of the August 2014 exam questions from the Regents exam typeset into this document. There will, of course, still be some formatting required in order to get it to look good. You may notice, for example, question 11 is spread across two pages. We also have an exam answer sheet. Uh, this contains a link back to the quiz document itself for each question and for the um, multiple choice questions it tells you which response is which. Another way to filter quizzes, well first let's clear off the old stuff. Just highlight it and delete it. Done. Um, let's unfilter for that exam. So now we have all the questions again. Another way to potentially filter would be to filter by level. So we could filter by level 1, which in the math exam is domain, level 2 is cluster, level 3 is standard. We also link to our math curriculum, which is units by unit, or by big idea within that math curriculum. Those are level 4 and 5. If I wanted to say, let's find out what all the questions that look like arithmetic with polynomial, uh, what does this say? arithmetic with polynomials and rational expressions, so I can clear the list, select one item, and now I have a list of all the questions from different exams that are in this domain of mathematics. So again, let's select yes. I can type it in if I want to. Well, it looks like it has to be a capital Y. There's all the questions selected, and now we click on Create Quiz again. And again, it redirects me, adds a new row to this spreadsheet, and it'll tell me that it's writing those questions. And now I wait. And now I can take a look at my new quiz. And what's handy about this is, now I know here are the all of the kinds of questions the Regents exam has asked that are related to that particular domain of mathematics, which could be useful for me if I just want to know what am I supposed to teach.